All right, now I'm going to try to describe this for the fifth time. If my kids or my family doesn't come in here and disturb me, I'll be able to demonstrate this to show you. All these pieces right here were broke off from all around here. Every one of them has black, glossy black. Some of them faded black. You find this little tail piece, which I shouldn't have broke off, but I did. If this was erosion, then this piece should have been long gone from the weather. I believe that this is a lunar rock because I've had it tested and it's not a meteorite. And most mineralogists, geologists, have never seen a lunar rock, so they don't have a clue what it is. I believe that it impacted the earth like this. And over time, or just immediately, it went down. This is how I found it when I was metal detecting. Just this piece sticking out. Alright? It has this weird fold right here. Very strange. It's almost like an impact feature. On this side, you got this weird, I don't know, like a um, hip. It's kind of sexy feeling. And if you take a big chunk of clay and slam it down, it would lump over. Now on this side, you got that fold. Alright, and if this was weathering, if this was only caused by weathering, on the previous take I tried to demonstrate by breaking this piece off, but I can't get it off. It's too strong. Alright, if this was weathering, this tail, which fits back here somewhere, this little bitty piece, not like any of these pieces, would not have been there. It would have been gone. I believe that the heat caused some of this to come back, and this is charred black on the inside. It is not gray, like where I sanded this down. It's charred black. This could have nothing to do with the rock, but I found breccia in the hole. I didn't do a thorough cleaning of the hole, or I might have found more. Maybe I should. But let me demonstrate. If I can find the knife. Right here where this fold is, I'm going to break a piece up. If I can get it up. There we go. What do you know? Black. Completely black. Underneath, black. If that was weathering, then this right here, this color, should go all the way down to the gray. I've looked at several rocks all throughout my yard. All of them that have weathering. The color goes all the way down to the original rock. Mine is not like that. So what I believe, sometime, I don't know when it was, I'm not a psychic, this came off of the moon, impacted our earth, like this, 60 pounds, so it's very heavy. Impacted our earth like this, came down, sat there, and waited for me to find it. This is where I sanded it. This rock is magnetic. I cannot get further testing done on it because I can't pay for ACT Labs uh, research fee for their chemical analysis. I can't pay for that. I don't have a job when I have four kids. I'm living with my freaking mom. So, I need somebody to back me on this. I need somebody to see what I'm seeing. Alright. Fold. Impact line. Flat spot. Hip. Magnetic. 60 pounds. I believe it's lunar rock. And if it's not, then I want to know what the hell it is. They say on the internet that when you find a meteorite, there's all these places you can have it tested at. It's supposed to be real simple. All right, well, I've had that done. And lunar rocks, there's only been like 40 or 70, something like that, found on the entire planet. And I'm starting to think it's not because they're so rare. It's because every time somebody finds one, nobody wants to believe it. Nobody wants to back them. This is big enough to be backed by somebody. 
Somebody needs to back me up. It's not a little bitty rock. It's freaking 60 pounds. And on a metal detector, I get high tone, which is silver, copper, bronze. And there's no Roman guys out here with bronze helmets. So, copper, silver. And I also get a low tone, gold and nickel. There could be minute amount of gold in here, or of uh, nickel, which the mineralogist I sent this to might not have detected. So if it's not the nickel, then there's definitely at least gold in here because I get the low tone. And when you turn it on trash mode, cheap metal detector, which is in pawn now because I needed money, um, I get all kinds of signals firing up. So there's definitely iron. I need somebody to back me on this. I got a guy with IGS, which I'm hoping he'll back me, but I don't know if he will or not. I haven't heard nothing. So I'm making this video to try to find somebody to help me. It'd be a shame if this was a real lunar rock and it gets ignored because people say, oh, it can't be. Too rare. Well, this, is, I believe, is one. So, my email address for anybody, not no jokers, for anybody professional is H-E-M-P-I-E-E -E at yahoo.com. That's hempy at yahoo.com. Alright? Thanks.